Hello, I'm Officer Reynoso. I've been with the City of Coral Springs Police Department for 16 years. I'm currently assigned to Road Patrol, Bravo Shift. So for Flea Friday, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my desk. Follow me. This is my 2018 Chevy Tahoe PPV Police Pursuit Vehicle. In the front of our vehicles, we have our standard push bar, which we use if we need to push a vehicle through an intersection or if we need to get something out of the roadway. Down at the bottom is our siren, our loudspeaker. It's on the outside of the vehicle so that uh, it's uh, louder so you can hear us. Uh, as you can see, there's lights, red and blue and white, also on the side so as we enter an intersection, uh, we're more visible. You see the strobes inside the headlights there. We also have red and blue on our running boards. Again, that's for when we enter intersections to make us more visible. Here we have our spotlight, which is mostly used at night. And then at the back here, you can see that we have red and blue up on the window here so that people as they're approaching can see the uh, uh, police vehicle conducting emergency uh, operations. So this is a look inside the vehicle. Uh, here would be the spotlight controls where I can turn on the light and I can adjust what angle I wanna see. Uh, here we have our speed detection device, our radars, which is controlled with our remote. And then here I have my CAD system, our computer system, which is where we get dispatched our calls, where we can uh, run uh, tags with driver's licenses, individuals, uh, items that are found. Uh, basically, this is the, uh, the brain of the vehicle. This is where we get uh, all our information. Down here is where we control our lights. Here above my head is where we store our patrol rifles. They're here for easy access in case of emergency situations that may arise. Another feature we have in the vehicle here is plexiglass that separates the back part of the vehicle to the front. It uh, allows us to stay safe when we're transporting prisoners and it does have a wire cage there in the middle and the window does slide back and forth. Okay, so now that we've checked out the front of the vehicle, I'm gonna have you guys follow me and we'll check out the back. So this is gonna be the back of our vehicles here. They're gonna be a little bit different from your standard vehicle. As you can see, there's no handle to roll down the window. There's no panel, it's completely plastic. We have bars on the window. The plexiglass, which I had mentioned earlier, which divides us, keeps us safe from our prisoners. And then here you can see the seat belts come pre-loaded, uh, makes it easier for once we sit an individual in, we could place the seat belt on them. Now let's check out the trunk. A couple features about the car that are really nice is one, we have white lights that get uh, you can turn on from back here at night, or if we're uh, on a traffic stop and we need to uh, open our trunk, we also have a couple red and blue lights that we can use. So in the middle here, you're gonna see we have a, a lock box, a Pelican case, uh, it stays locked. We can store items that we need to put in there and uh, we have the uh, key for that. Also, you see we keep some stuffed animals and a football, soccer ball to hand out to the kids when we see them playing at the park. Finally, we have our little uh, extinguisher here that helps us put out uh, little fires if need be. That pretty much concludes the tour of my office. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, thank you.